Right then guys, here we go, little uh, Land Rover Defender 90. My own personal one, this one, I've had it for a couple of years, had a load of fun with it. Couple of off-roady days, couple of um, light-hearted green laney days. Uh, so there's a few scratches around it, bits and pieces. I seem to find myself being main recovery, uh, mainly of course, because I had the most capable vehicle, as it turned out. Uh, these, um, both of the, 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 the three trips we went on, all organised by that guy there, UK Adventure 4x4. Uh, um, he was name I can't remember, it'll come to me in a minute. Kieran, uh, it was a real nice lad, spot on. And uh, it does some, some light-hearted days. They're not, um, you're not over the bonnet with mud and all the rest of it. There is a couple of places where you can get mud up onto your headlights if you really want. Uh, but generally speaking, uh, they're uh, light-hearted days for production four-wheel drives, really. And uh, as I said, one or two of them got stuck and I was recovery. Now, she's, she's, I haven't cleaned the life out of it and all the rest of it. Look, there's dirty foot mat and all the rest of it. 136,000 miles showing. I'm sure it's going to be correct. Uh, I bought it as being correct. I don't know. You never know with these things, do you? Uh, inside's nice and smart and tidy. Could do with a bit of a, a clean out, if I'm honest. Odd middle seat look. Um, again, it's never bothered me. It's handy having loads of seats in it. Uh, CB in there, usual bits and pieces. Uh, light bars uh, are switchable. I think that switch there, if memory serves, can't remember. Uh, but uh, anyway, you can switch them on and off. They're wired into main beam. Uh, and uh, it's structurally is good. To be honest, chassis wise, as good as you're going to find, I would have thought. They're, um, it's ever so ever so solid. There's one crusty little bit on the other side, I'll show you in a minute. But generally speaking, it is as good as you're going to get. I haven't wax oiled it. I haven't even pressure washed it off properly, look. But I haven't wax oiled it for the simple reason I didn't want you thinking I'm hiding things. Rear cross member's really, really good look. I put the tow bar on, came with no tow bar. Um, exhaust, to be honest, exhaust had a, uh, it's got a, a, whatever size that is, I don't know, three inches it all the way through. But it had a humongously big, stainless silencer in there of which I took off that's the crusty bit there look little tiny bit on there it's solid as a rock but it is it's starting so that's gonna want to dress in at some point but you're a long long way off there's nothing wrong with it um, and um, yeah no exhaust as I said I cut it wherever it is there look that silencer there was three times the length of that there it is there look I put a bit of mild steel in between so I cut it um, well in half by the looks of that uh, because it was as quiet as a mouse and I like these TD5s, they sound beautiful. So um, I put the roll cage on, didn't have a cage. Uh, I put the big wheels on. Uh, so uh, cage isn't down to the chassis. Don't start thinking you're going to go all extreme. The cage is a fashion accessory and no more. Winch all works as it should. Uh, LED lights all round, all that sort of thing. As I say, snorkel. Can't remember if I put that on or it was on. I can't remember now. I think the snorkel might have been on actually. I think the snorkel was on. Um, it's uh, she's tidy enough under there. Look, as it uh, as you'd want to see it really. I have washed it off. I'll be honest, because it was all uh, covered in mud. Relay there for the um, top lamp. I think the light bar. But there she is. Sweet enough is the old thing. Oh, there's a, a viscous fan in the back. Fan, viscous fan conked. It's got an electric fan on it at the moment. Uh, in the back there is a, a viscous fan to go on it. Um, so um, that, if you're going to be towing, running around empty, so low is fine. But there she is, look, I've got a second-hand viscous fan for you there. I've never bothered putting it on because I haven't towed much with it. The, the uh, little bit, trailer load of logs, that's about as much as I've towed. Um, it's, uh, but if you were going to be towing a lot, put it back on. It's only got a little electric fan on there, so uh, just to give you the edge up. Uh, it's spent most of the time while I've owned it in my garage with the battery lead disconnected. Uh, if you leave it on for three or four weeks, oh, that there, incidentally, I had to reskin that back door. That was buggered, that was. And that's skinned in steel, that is, like the later ones. And then I'll put that wheel carrier on, take the weight off it. Uh, so uh, it's a steel skin which I made on the back door uh, which just stiffens them up nicely so uh, 
that's about all I can tell you really uh, and there she is so nip down have a little look so there it is mate nip down have a little look thank you